Hi, I'm Alex Passi. Today I'm going to talk about display stream compression algorithm and its usage in MIPD side protocol. In last years, screen resolution of mobile devices grows rapidly and constantly. It creates a kind of challenge since the bandwidth of uh, transport layers like DeFi and CFI grows much slower. In order to illustrate this uh, challenge, let us take a quick look at a numerical example. Let's start with QHD resolution, which is quite a standard today for mobile devices, at least high end. And at 60 frames per second, it requires a bit rate, data bit rate of around 7 gigabit per pixel per second. If we are talking about the SI protocol that allows us up to four data lanes, and we are using DeFi 1.2. With 2.5 gigabit per second per lane, we can see that here we will need three lanes in order in order to transfer to transfer video data. If we are talking about DeFi 1.1. which allows us 1.5 gigabit per second per lane, we can see that it's impossible to transfer this data over the SI protocol. If we are going further and going to ultra high definition resolution, that is It requires about 40 gigabit per second data rate. We can see that even with DeFi 1.2, we will need more than six lanes in order to transfer this data. And obviously, we cannot transfer it with DeFi 1.2, 1.1. <clears throat> In order to resolve this issue, we can use display stream compression algorithm, DSC. This algorithm was uh, dis developed by, by VESA, Video Electronic Standards Association. And this algorithm uh, was designed exactly for these situations. First of all, what is special about display stream compression algorithm? When we say compression, the first thing we think about is uh, image distortion. Display stream compression algorithm provides us with a compression that is visually lossless, which means human eye cannot distinguish between uncompressed and compressed image. Secondly, it provides, uh, provides us with 3x compression. And if we return to our example, now, QHD screen resolution can be transferred just over one lane. And over D511, it can be transferred just over two lanes. And now, if we use display stream compression algorithm, also we can transfer ultra high definition over two lanes in DeFi 1.2. And even in DeFi 1.1, mission becomes possible. And the data can be transferred about all over four data lanes. Now, let's talk about how display stream compression works in this MIPD SI protocol. This is a com common scheme of 
video data transmission in DSI. Video input arrives to DSI transmitter. From here, the data is transferred to DSI receiver. over number of lanes required according to screen resolution. And from here, it is displayed on the screen. What is different about transferring data through the SI protocol using display stream compression? Two components are added. First of all, on the processor side, we add display string compression encoder. This, uh, this component will compress the original video input into this C stream and will transmit it from DSI transmitter to DSI receiving using compressed pixel stream packet. A set of compressed pixel stream packets exactly as usual video frame. At the other side, there will be DC decoder. It will decompress the data received by the site receiver and present it on the screen. For convenience and faster processing, uh, uncompressed image can be uh, broken into slices. And instead of single DC encoder element, we can have uh, several uh, DC encoder elements working in parallel while each slice of the image is compressed and decompressed the other side uh, in parallel. In order, in order to process compression and decompression properly, both DSI transmitter and DSI receiver units must have the same set of parameters named picture parameter set that define compression algorithm parameters. This set of parameters can be either preset in both units or uh, transferred using uh, picture parameter set DSI packet from processor to host device, uh, from processor to device. To conclude, display string, usage of display string compression allows us to save power and footprint because we need much less lanes and in some uh, cases allows us to transfer screen resolutions much higher than the regular DSI allows us. Thank you for your attention.